I started um, when I was seven um, at my local footy club, um, Broadview Football Club. Mum was pretty keen to get me into the sport and, and Dad was fully, fully for it. Yeah, it's just something I, I took a hold of and um, as I grew, um, I was able to have it, enjoy it as I was playing well as a youngster and then um, joined North Adelaide in their junior ranks and just went from there. Yeah, it's been a, um, a successful year. Um, obviously winning the champs with SA and school footy and, and North Adelaide footy have been quite successful. So all I just wanted to be was consistent and I've been able to do that. So I've reached my goal, I think. Hopefully just an, a um, strong marking key forward type player um, who's able to provide an option up forward and also in the ruck at times and um, be a versatile sort of player. So that's what I aim to do. Yeah, I try to... Um, Obviously, use my marking and my, my kicking, my skills, um, get, the, get the ball as much as I can, and um, I'm going to use my goal kicking to effect. Adding to that, I've tried to um, use my, my game smarts and my footy brain to the effect, and um, yeah, it's worked well so far. Oh, definitely winning the, um, the, the champs with SA this year, um, breaking that drought um, was just, yeah, it was amazing. Kurt Tippett, um, is, since he's been back with the Swans, has been a bit of a role model to me, um, just watching the way he goes about it. He's, he's a really good, strong, strong player. Yeah, there's, there's a rumour flowing about that there's not as many tools this year. But it does give you a bit extra confidence heading into the draft and knowing that you haven't got real huge competition like there may have been in the past. You just have to keep doing what you can to get your name out there. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get a pretty high ATAR. I'm aiming for about 90 and uh, looking at doing physiotherapy. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a path I wouldn't mind taking um, in the future. Pretty unfortunate accident. It was last um, 2012, late February. We had a training on Sunday morning and a few of us went down to the basketball courts that, um, that afternoon, just around the corner from my house. We were about to leave and um, just did one last slam dunk, as you do. Unfortunately, fell on my wrist and landed on my head. Ended up uh, breaking my ulna in my wrist and um, spending six weeks in a cast and one week in hospital with severe concussion. Yeah, it's, it's something that I've um, always looked back on now, now that I'm fit and healthy, that um, I'm just glad that I'm playing footy and living a healthy life and um, could have been a lot worse to stay away from the basketball court. Um, it's probably, probably a smart idea. It's obviously around the corner and um, you sort of just have to try and keep it, keep it in the back of your mind. Um, just make sure you do the right things off the field and um, just try and keep the nerves away. But um, yeah, it's pretty exciting.